Time for a recap for round three of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. It's the Rockstar Energy Drink National High Point presented by Central Bank. Been racing here for 32 years, and this one was a classic 250 class. Christophe Porcel is going to get the whole shot of Moto 1, but quickly challenged by Justin Barsha, who would pass him to take the lead, and then uncharacteristically, Porcel would fall back into fourth. Barsha, Barsha, Barsha took off. He won his first motor of the season, so that'll end all the controversy over what was wrong with Justin Barsha for the first two rounds. Behind him, Tyler Ratchet would take a solid second. Dean Wilson would battle, fight his way inside the top five, but late in the race, Blake Baggett puts on a strong charge for third. Let's go to motor number two of the 250 class. Another hole shot for Porcel, but this time Barsha is nowhere in the picture. Porcel would have to deal with pressure from his teammate, Tyler Atre, as well as Wilson, but then Wilson would crash and drop out of the top five. Suddenly at that point, it's pretty obvious. If Atre just held on for second, he would go 2-2 on the day, and that would be enough to give him the overall. So he backed it down and didn't try to challenge his teammate Porcel, who would go on to win the moto and take second overall. As for Barsha, never got going. Had a tough time even staying in the points. Not sure exactly what happened to the Wonder Kid in moto number two. Similar story for his teammate Eli Tomac, who was so spectacular in the first two rounds of the tour, he was outside of the top 10 in both races. And finally, their other teammate, Trey Kennard, he was pretty solid, went down on the first lap of Moto 2, fought his way all the way back to fourth. The only other guy in front of him, his other teammate, Blake Wharton, who was a solid third in the second Moto. Podium looks like this. It's Rattray, it's Porcel, and Blake Wharton in third. Let's move up to the big class, the 450s, which aired live on NBC Sports. First moto, Ryan Dungey going to battle for the whole shot with Josh Grant. Everybody waiting to see these two guys hook up in a moto. Grant took off early. Dungey reeled him back in, and just when we thought we'd see a battle for the lead, Grant goes down. Dungey takes over the number one spot and checks out. Grant was able to pick up his bike and finish second in front of Honda Red Bull Racing's Andrew Short with a solid run in third. And nowhere to be seen in this one, Chad Reed, who struggled outside of the top ten. Tough luck for our series points leader and defending champion. Let's go to moto number two. Dungey with another great start, but Short is going to grab the early lead in this. And Short was going for his first ever moto win on a 450. He took off early, and about halfway through, Dungey started to reel him back in. By the 20-minute mark, he was all over the Honda man, and eventually Dungey puts his rock star, Mikita Suzuki, into the number one spot. He'd win both motos. That's the second straight weekend he's done that, and now he's going to be the points leader on the tour because Reed broke his front brake early in the moto. They couldn't get it fixed. A DNF for Chad Reed. Very disappointing. Solid run for Short to end up second in the moto, and Brett Metcalf on the Geico Power Sports Honda takes third overall. That's his first career podium in the 450 class. That's the racing from High Point. We will be at Bud's Creek, Maryland next weekend. Come join us there or check out more action on AlliSports.com.